This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. Glad to have you with us on this Wednesday. I'm Jacqueline Matter. Let's check in with meteorologist John Scalzi. John, lots of people hoping for the best, of course, but of course, preparing for the worst. Yeah, that's absolutely what I say. You know, expect the worst and hopefully you'll be pleasantly surprised, you know, but we got to prepare as if this thing were headed right for us. Right now, the computer model tracks over the overnight period have shifted a little bit further to the east. That's one model run, so we'll see what happens in the days ahead and track its eventual motion as it gets a little bit closer to us, but uh, still a very formidable, powerful hurricane. With 185 mile an hour winds bearing down on the northern um, Leeward Islands, headed toward the Virgin Islands, and then on toward areas around Puerto Rico and Hispaniol and the Cuban nation as it heads. Then, uh, further to the north. The forecast track that you see here, a little bit further to the east, which of course is great news. The further east it goes, the better our weather. Of course, on that forecast track, it could head right up the peninsula of the state, creating major damage there. Too early to tell yet, but the forecast models do seem to indicate a shift to the east today. All of them, the Canadian, the, uh, the H wharf, the uh, GFS, the European, all of our reliable, dependable computer models. So that's great. We'll continue to see if that track forecast holds true. Complete forecast for you in just a minute. All right. Thank you, John. We will check back in with you shortly. Taking a look at your first alert traffic this morning. State Road 70 heading east and westbound, seeing some more cars on the roadway. 64 heading towards the interstate, seeing some congestion as well. In Sarasota County, your biggest slowdowns are over towards the Bayfront and on 41 heading southbound. South County looking pretty good, except for that little blip towards Nokomis on Business 41 as you're heading south at 602 on your Wednesday. Topping our news this hour, the Caribbean and Florida are bracing for Hurricane Irma. It's now one of the strongest storms seen in more than a decade. The Category 5 storm prompting evacuations and disrupting travel as it makes landfall early this morning. ABC's Janae Norman has more on the preparations underway right now. A monster storm whipping through the Atlantic. Hurricane Irma, a Category 5 storm with its eye on the Caribbean, heading toward the Florida Peninsula. It's a really big storm. It's, they're really taking it serious this time. Now, one of the most powerful storms ever recorded over the Atlantic Ocean. Irma's force registering on seismometers. That storm still deepening and strengthening. With winds topping 185 miles per hour, the hurricane could bring waves up to 23 feet. This is a Category 5 hurricane, yeah? Yeah. So it's just like, it's really scary. So you have to be prepared as much as possible. Governor Rick Scott preemptively issuing a state of emergency in all of Florida's 67 counties. In South Florida, gas stations running dry as store shelves are emptying quickly. The line to get uh, water goes around the whole supermarket. And in Miami, the mayor sounding the alarm, calling for evacuations ahead of the storm. This hurricane is far too powerful, poses far too great a threat for us to uh, delay actions uh, any longer. I'm going to board up the house and probably head north. In the low-lying Florida Keys, mandatory evacuations. Officials telling tourists to get out as soon as possible and telling residents not to rely on shelters. Going to stay with family or friends outside of the evacuation zone is the best choice since shelters only provide for basic needs. Hurricane Irma is expected to hit Florida by this weekend, and already a second storm has formed behind it. So airlines are canceling flights and offering waivers to passengers trying to get out before the storm arrives. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington. As Hurricane Irma hits the Caribbean this morning, the Dutch government now sending about 100 Marines to the Caribbean in anticipation of Hurricane Irma. St. Martin and St. Astucius and Saba all rely on the Netherlands for defense. Two Dutch Navy ships are also sailing towards the islands to help rebuild after Irma has passed. Meanwhile, American Airlines is adding flights out of St. Martin, St. Kitts and Nevis to help those who want to evacuate before the hurricane arrives. More flights to Miami will also be available to travelers in addition to the ones already scheduled. American is also waiving changes, change fees until Friday for passengers affected by Irma. The airline says it expects to make more flight changes as the storm approaches. Also, Delta, JetBlue, Southwest and Frontier adding to those list of flight delays and flight changes. Governor Rick Scott directing state offices in all 67 Florida counties to be closed this Friday in preparation for Hurricane Irma. The governor also issued a call to state employees encouraging them to volunteer 
in support of the state's emergency shelter mobilization efforts. Scott has directed all state executive agencies to allow the deployment of any American Red Cross employees who are willing to volunteer. They can volunteer to help in or operate shelters in response to the possible storm. Any Floridians willing to help can also register for American Red Cross certifications at volunteerflorida.org. And Governor Scott also suspending tolls across the entire state of Florida. The governor hopes that this will help people better prepare for the storm, get hurricane supplies, and quickly evacuate when necessary. Scott says FDOT has been in constant contact with local districts and is ready to provide traffic assistance with the Florida Highway Patrol and law enforcement partners wherever it is needed. Governor Scott also turning to the federal government to help prepare for Irma's impact. All 7,000 Florida National Guard members will be reporting for duty on Friday morning. 13 helicopters and more than 1,000 tactical trucks are also on standby. Scott says he got President Trump's full support for the state yesterday. I talked to President Trump uh, last night. He's uh, committed all of the uh, federal resources that uh, are necessary. I just a few minutes ago requested President Trump declare a pre-landfall emergency for the entire state of Florida. That's going to free up uh, much needed federal funding and, and assets. The governor's main message for Floridians is to hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Of course, we have been saying that all morning throughout the day. Meanwhile, the NFL says the Miami Dolphins season opener against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will not be played in Miami this weekend due to Hurricane Irma. The game may be moved to a neutral site, but if the game is now relocated, it will be postponed until November when the team shares the same bye week. Kickoff had been scheduled for Sunday at 1 p.m., but officials decided Irma's threat to South Florida this weekend is not worth the risk. And the threat of Hurricane Her Irma also changing the high school sports schedule here on the Sun Coast. The Manatee County School District deciding to play this week's scheduled high school football games on Thursday instead of Friday. Venice High School's game at Charlotte High will also be moved to Thursday. And the Sarasota County School District has canceled all Friday after school activities, meaning games will either be moved up or postponed. And just a reminder, you can get up to the minute updates on Hurricane Irma and current weather conditions across the Sun Coast by downloading the ABC7 weather and news app. Once you download that app, you'll get both of those apps. Rather, you'll get updates on the forecast, breaking news, local stories, all right to the palm of your hand. Something you definitely want to keep in mind when you are getting ready for Hurricane Irma throughout the next couple days. Absolutely great app. Lots yeah. of good information there. You know, each and every day I've been talking about what to do on this particular day. Today I would say that uh, if you can can. can Confine your uh, boat preparations to two or three hours. You could probably wait till tomorrow, but okay. if it takes longer than that, why don't you get a jump start on it and get that done today? Um, then for the rest of us, go around your yard, see what's out there, what you might have to pick up, kind of take an inventory of the things that are out there. And most importantly, I think, take a breath. Right. Take a break. Enjoy the day. It's going to be a nice day, a lot of sunshine around. Um, have all your plans in place and uh, just. Take a little breath as we watch the track shifting just a little bit to the east and uh, we refine the forecast over the next several days. All right. Thanks so much, John. Looking forward to your forecast coming up. Still ahead, the latest in your first alert traffic and some Sun Coast families aren't waiting for Hurricane Irma to get close before evacuating. We'll tell you how people are already leaving the state ahead of the storm when we come back. Stay connected to your clients and new customers using ABC7 Digital Media Services. Our team of professionals provide a wide array of digital services to help you get the most out of your website. We specialize in building and helping you maintain the most effective digital solutions for your business. It's vital that your online presence stands out, so our experts will equip you with the best resources available. Trust ABC7 Digital Media Services to give you the right tools to grow your business. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Being the caregiver for someone you love is truly a blessing. But sometimes you can lose a part of yourself. To be your best, for them and for you, it's important to have time to be able to recharge your batteries. When you call Tidewell Hospice, they can give you a chance to do just that. And with the peace of mind of knowing your loved one is in the very best hands. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think.
the kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style. Visit us today. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. ABC 7 First Alert Weather Forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. 77 degrees, the air temperature, dew point coming in at 75. You have a fair amount of clear sky out there, but a few fair weather clouds as well. The fair weather clouds caused by showers and thunderstorms out in the Gulf this morning, mostly to our north. If you are headed north up through Pinellas County, up toward, say, Dunedin, you might really encounter a few scattered showers kind of moving on shore. Have a slight chance of a sprinkle or a shower along the coastline this morning, but the best chance of rain will be this afternoon. All of these showers associated with a trough of low pressure that is sinking southward through the Florida Peninsula, triggering off these scattered rains. This trough of low pressure instrumental in exactly what will happen with the track of Irma. Right now, high pressure, the dominant weather feature in the Atlantic, steering that storm westward. What we're trying to see, and when it occurs, is the chipping away of that high pressure ridge by this trough of low pressure, creating a weakness in the weather pattern that allows the storm to move northward around the periphery of that retreating high. That should begin to happen this weekend. Mostly sunny skies, inland showers, and then winds start to pick up on Saturday. Exactly how strong they get, of course, is still a big question mark. We don't know that yet, but no matter whether it's an East Coast storm or a West Coast storm or even an Atlantic storm, we will see our winds picking up. So here is the American model. Yesterday, it trended exactly like you're seeing here off the East Coast of the United States. Today, the European model, which is a favored model of the Hurricane Center with this particular storm, has also trekked off to the eastern coast of the United States. That is a big flip from where it was yesterday, which was basically right over us. Now models will do that. They'll switch back and forth between solutions. Uh, eventually, all of the computer models will start to hone in on one solution. Well, as of this morning, the Canadian model, the European model, the American model, and the, um, the hurricane models have all focused in on a more eastward solution to the forecast track. That's a good thing. You look at the uh, kind of consensus model tracks and they all seem to be pushing a little bit further to the east. Now let's hope that's true. You need three or four of these model runs to start gaining certainty in a particular solution and the Hurricane Center is not completely buying into putting this storm off the east coast based on a couple of model tracks. That's not how they work. They make slight adjustments to the forecast track. You don't want to flip the track around all over the place. So, Irma, still 185 mile per hour storm, Category 5, bearing down on the upper Leeward Islands, moving into the uh, British Isles and eventually closer to areas of Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and Cuba, is forecast to start that hook to the north by about Sunday. 
and then Sunday early in the morning as it starts to lift northward, its track today shifted a little further to the east. By the way, if it took that track, if it took that center line track right up the spine of the state, unbelievable damage to the state of Florida. I mean, FEMA funds would be stretched to the maximum with that particular path. Now again, the forecast error here is huge. That far out, about 300 miles, could be anywhere to out in the Atlantic and the uh, Bahama Island chain, all the way into the Gulf waters. So we'll just wait and watch and track this storm. Because of its angle of approach on the state of Florida, any little shift in the position down here makes a huge difference in its position up here. We've been talking about that all week, and that's one of the reasons this storm is a tough one to forecast that far out. All storms are, but this one in particular. We look for a, about a 30 to 40 percent chance of showers over the next several days. Then as we head into the weekend, the winds start picking up most likely on Saturday and then on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Of course, all highly dependent on the eventual track of Irma. Back to you. All right, thank you so much, John. Checking your first alert traffic this morning in Manatee County 301 and State Road 70 seeing some more congestion as well as 64. I-75 looking clear for the most part as we head into Sarasota County. Some slowdowns on Clark Road and over towards the Bayfront. South County looking pretty good as well throughout that area. Some slowdowns over towards South Venice as you're heading south and north. But other than that, not too bad. Now we have been getting some reports of noticeably heavier traffic on the morning commute this morning as people are heading out of the state in our area here on the Sun Coast. Uh, lots of people also getting in line for gas, so uh, get it while you can. While most Sun Coast families are getting their hurricane kits ready, some are choosing to leave Florida altogether, as I just mentioned. For those living in mobile homes or houses without hurricane-proof window shutters, your best option may be to evacuate. Our Erica Jackson explains why it may, may be better if you leave sooner rather than later. I want to make sure that we're in a good place to react to that when we discover if she's going east or west. Tom Lelio is getting ready to pack up four of his kids and drive up to South Carolina ahead of Hurricane Irma's threat on Florida. But two of his family members are staying behind. His wife, Natalie, and their newborn daughter, Evangeline Joy. Our family has been kind of separated for the past few weeks with my wife at the hospital and me with the boys. Evangeline was born premature just two weeks ago, five weeks ahead of Natalie's scheduled due date. She's getting stronger every day and now weighs three pounds, five ounces. The Lelios believe Evangeline's progression will continue if she stays in the NICU at Sarasota Memorial Hospital. And Natalie will remain by her side as the rest of the family evacuates. If I have a choice to go somewhere else and not have to put my family through no power or just scary thunderstorms with our kids because they're little, I'd rather not put them through that. We want people to, you know, have fuel in their vehicle, take their supplies with them, Think about where you're going to go and do that planning. Sarasota County Emergency Management Chief Ed McCrane knows a lot of people are getting ready to get out of Florida in case Irma hits the Sunshine State, but says evacuees don't have to travel hundreds of miles as long as they get away from the shoreline and find a safe shelter. Get out of flood zones, get out of mobile homes, and go to a safe building. Evangeline will have to extend her stay at Sarasota Memorial if the hurricane hits Florida, but her father is optimistic about their safety. Our family is going to be fine. I really trust in that. Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Now we do need to point out no evacuations have been issued for our area as of now. However, if evacuations are put in place, you can expect to see all evacuation routes more crowded than usual because drivers from southern counties like Lee, Collier and Monroe will likely use our local roads to head north. So be sure to plan ahead in the coming days. We recommend taking 64, 70 or 72 and then heading north to hit roads that are less busy. Still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast, the desperate search for a Houston real estate agent and mother of two who disappeared just hours before Hurricane Harvey hit. We'll have the latest on those search efforts when we come back. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or heaven forbid replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. 
and G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills, wow, stop stains, and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors. Guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable too. My grandkids destroy everything but with couch coat my couch is always protected looking as good as it did the day I bought it get your couch coat for just $19.99 and it's reversible in brown and cream like two couch coats for the price of one order right now and you can double your offer get a second couch coat just pay a separate fee order right now call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat call now or go to couchcoat.com so call 1-800-943-0710 that's 1-800-943-0710 call now Tell me how the day unfolds, traffic fast, the traffic slow, this feeling is so fine, I gotta say, you're just a touch away, you're everywhere, got you everywhere, everywhere I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. go, everywhere I go, whoa, 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 whoa. everywhere I go. Watch your Suncoast News at 6 on your streaming device for a chance to win a $50 visa. It's easy. Just watch weekdays at 6 for the word of the week. Then enter the word at mysuncoast.com for your shot at a $50 visa. We'll pick the winner each week. Good luck. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Welcome back. There's how you can get in contact with Ray, myself, or John Scalzi. I am speaking to one of our ABC7 viewers, Charles Urea, who has been telling me he has been seeing some noticeably heavier traffic on his morning commute this morning, and lots of people also getting gas at the pump. He's been speaking with me on Facebook. You too can do the same thing if you go follow us on our Facebook page and let us know what you guys are seeing out there around the Sun Coast in preparation of Hurricane Irma. 623 this morning and amid the cleanup in Houston after Harvey, police are still searching for a woman who went missing a day before the storm hit. ABC's Diane Macedo has the latest. In this morning's GMA first look, the desperate search for a Houston real estate agent and mother of two who disappeared just hours before Hurricane Harvey hit. The night before she was last seen, Crystal McDowell posted on Facebook, stay safe out there. According to her boyfriend, Paul Hargraves, this home security video shows her the next morning leaving the house and getting into her car to pick up her kids from her ex-husband, who lives just about 20 minutes away. Three days later, the 38-year-old's black Mercedes was found about 13 miles from Hargraves' home in this flooded Motel 6 parking lot. Her family wants her back, her children. She's got a 5-year-old and an 8-year-old, and they need her. And we'll have the latest on this developing story coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Diane Macedo, ABC News, New York. Sarah, could you come in here? Yep, coming. <laughs> oh, wow. What kind of underwear are those? They're breathable underwear from Fruit of the Loom. <gasps> what are those? Guys, they're, they're breathable underwear from Fruit of the Loom. Oh. Yes, they have these tiny holes to let the air through. Can you help me? Wow, well, we will look at those. Can you feel this? Yeah. Turn around for me. Seriously? Yeah. Slow, <laughs> slow, slower, that that slower. Okay? I don't think you should get that dress. Mm. It doesn't fit. Stay cool with breathable underwear from Fruit of the Loom. Need a fast absorbing moisturizer? Try Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. Wash, apply, it absorbs fast for 24 hour moisture. Quickly rinse for smoother skin. Ready to go. Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. Also available with cocoa butter. You wouldn't do only half of your daily routine, so why treat your mouth any differently? Complete the job with Listerine. Help prevent plaque, early gum disease, bad breath, and kill up to 99.9% .9 of germs. 
Listerine, bring out the bowl. Hey, how's everybody doing? I'm Chef Bob Vitello, and this is Chef Alan Bristow. Alan's got something amazing today. It's called a full tank burrito. Once you see <laughs> this thing made, you're gonna have a full tank when you eat it, because it just, is big. I, I'm beside myself. So we're gonna start off with a little steak here. Very sliced, thin, 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 thin slices. We've got a little teriyaki marinade here that we're gonna add to it. And we got a little bit of fresh lime juice. Always use fresh lime juice. The jarred lime juice, jarred lemon juice, we never use that. We'll take it out of your cart if you buy it. If you buy it, so please don't buy it. So what you wanna do is let that rest for about 20, 30 minutes, and then you put it into a hot saute pan. And that's what we're gonna do right here. And Bob's got that moving around. Some of the other components that go with this dish, we're gonna add some really nice melange of peppers, which is a red pepper, a yellow pepper, an orange pepper. And we'll throw that in there and get that cooking just as well. We'll let that cook until the beef is finished and the peppers are nice and soft. And once that's accomplished, we're going to start to put the burrito together. Nice and simple. Great thing about this burrito, it's got to everybody's favorite, macaroni and cheese in it, which we all love macaroni and cheese. So we're going to put a little mac and cheese in there. Mac and cheese, beef, and pepper so far? That mac and cheese, beef, mm -hmm. and peppers. This is really something a little different to give you a little texture. We've got some jalapeno crackers here. I don't chips. <laughs> it's, I know, it's crazy. We're going to put in some beautiful meat, the beef and the peppers, just like this. Here's the best part. And here's the best part, folks. Make sure that you've got it all lined up real pretty like that. That's OK. We're going to wrap this just like this. Fold the ends in. That looks really good, Alan. Hey. Starting tomorrow, be sure to stop by your Publix Apron Simple Meals kiosk. Pick up the recipe card and all the ingredients after sampling this delicious dish. That's amazing, dude. It's a big one. All Thanks, he needs Bob. is bacon. There you go. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now. Make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-628-1251. 800-628-1251. I am powerful beyond my wildest imagination. I will define my future. I will keep challenging myself to improve. Because I am a future leader of this great nation. I will make a difference in my community. I will not settle for simply chasing my dreams. I will achieve them. Because I was given a chance. An opportunity. At Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. The ultimate leadership experience. Join us. We'll build a new future together. My name is Julius. I have cerebral palsy. I work for Farmer Jaffe Weising Law Firm. I do a lot of data entry and scanning documents. I want to increase my working experience to make the company much better. At the end of the day, it's good to think of the day's work and to think about what I have accomplished. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. 
To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. Keep up with the Sun Coast. Watch your favorite ABC7 shows on your streaming device. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast, Irma makes a landfall in the Caribbean overnight as the Category 5 storm continues to move towards Florida. What the governor is doing now to make sure we're all prepared. Plus, people across the Sun Coast make a run for water and food as they look to stock up their hurricane kits. And new concerns this morning about the possibility of flooding in Northport. What is most concerning for people living on the Mayaka River? Your Sun Coast News starts right now. Live from the ABC 7 studios, this is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us on this Wednesday at 631 on your morning. I'm Jacqueline Matter. Ray Collins has the day off. Let's check in with meteorologist John Scalzi, who has a bit of good news for us this morning. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, uh, most of the computer models have overnight kind of centered in on a more easterly track. That's good news. Now we need to see three or four runs of each of those models all kind of converging on the same solution and uh, hopefully it will continue to be pushed further and further and further to the east. That's what we're hoping for. But overnight, certainly that change to the east in all of the major computer models has caused the Hurricane Center to shift their track slightly to the east. They don't make big changes from track to track, but they have slipped it, shifted it slightly to the east. Here's the track. 185 mile an hour winds, Category 5 storm moving through the Leeward Islands just to the north of Puerto Rico and Hispaniola and Cuba. Then right now moving a little bit further to the east. We're still in the cone of uncertainty that far out, but certainly we're headed in a direction I'd like to see continue. We'll look for today, a beautiful day. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds, a little bit of rain chance today, though, with a daytime high in the upper 80s. Complete forecast for you in just a few. All right, thank you, John. Taking a look at your first alert traffic in Manatee County, picking up throughout the area. Looks like 64 heading into downtown Bradenton, seeing some more cars on the roadway, and a, a 301 as well. In Sarasota County, your biggest slowdown's over towards the Bayfront around Mound. Other than that, Fruitville, Lee Ridge, and Clark looking good. South County pretty quiet as well at 633. Topping our news this half hour, Irma is on the minds of all Floridians, including emergency management personnel. Governor Rick Scott tweeting President Trump has approved Florida's request for a pre-landfall emergency declaration. This will provide important federal resources and assistance before the possible storm. Our Rick Adams has more on what the Sun Coast is doing ahead of that storm. I'm nervous about it. Hoping it's not going to be that bad. Sarasota resident Paula Sewell and her family are like most of the Sun Coast. There are a lot of people who are very concerned about Hurricane Irma. I'm nervous because I've been a Floridian my whole life, so I've dealt with quite the hurricanes, Charlie, Andrew, all that. Many folks we caught up with at Bayfront Park in Sarasota are preparing for this monster storm in their own way. My home already taken any kind of potted plants inside. I've put everything that you think it could blow away easily. Oh, yeah. Put it somewhere where it's not going to blow away easily. Other than that, I haven't put cardboard, or cardboard, I'm sorry, I haven't put plywood on my windows or anything like that. I'm taking my chances. Clark does also own two boats in Sarasota Bay that he's hunkering down. In a press conference on Tuesday, Sarasota County oh, emergency yeah, management no, officials like want folks to be proactive and do whatever it takes to be prepared and be safe. So we do have the disaster planning guides for people to pick up at the libraries and, and uh, other county buildings so that if they haven't planned already, they need to start. There are 10 steps in there to help you plan. Emergency management officials say they are hoping for the best, but planning for the worst case scenario for the Sun Coast, meaning they want to be prepared for anything and everything. As we get more information about the storm, we will be providing information about mandatory evacuations or voluntary evacuations, anticipated rainfall, anticipated storm surges and things like that and people will have a better idea of what they need to do. This hurricane stuff is something new for newlyweds Katie and Dan Oski. They're visiting the Sun Coast on their honeymoon from Minnesota and are scheduled to fly back home on Saturday, hopefully ahead of the hurricane. They're saying it's a five? Category five. Category five, so we're going to be happy that we're getting out of here. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. In Sarasota, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Sun Coast News. And as you would expect, there is already a shortage on essential supplies across our area. 
Items like food and water are already flying off the shelves. It's also a mad dash at the Home Depot as well, where plywood, batteries, and flashlights are also flying off the shelves, and of course, generators in case people find themselves left in the dark. We've increased our staffing potential for Home Depot employees, allowing the time and the, the energy and the capacity to service the customers. Home Depot, along with many other stores on the Sun Coast, say new shipments of supplies will continue to come in throughout the week. Meanwhile, there are new concerns about the possibility of flooding in Northport should Hurricane Irma head our way. The Mayaka River received a large influx of rain last week and is already at dangerously high water levels. The city says if the area receives any more rain, the river could flood, making roadways impossible to navigate in some areas. We don't have a whole lot to give. Uh, we're looking at anything over six or eight inches where we are, you know, starting to have some impact uh, on our on our roadways. Nearby residents are urged to keep a close eye on the storm and begin preparing three to five days, some even seven days worth of food and water if that storm hits. Plus, county and city governments across the Sun Coast are handing out sandbags to help people protect their homes from flood and water damage today. Sarasota County will be having handbag sits handing out sandbags available from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can get them at Newtown Estates Park and Twin Lakes Park in Sarasota and at the South County Fleet Facility in Venice. You can also get free sand at Big Earth Landscape Supply on Bee Ridge Road in Sarasota. Manatee County crews will also distribute sandbags from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at five locations. Those include Buffalo Creek Park in Palmetto, GT Bray Park in Bradenton, Lakewood Ranch Park, the Stormwater Ops in Bradenton, and the Rabonia Commun Community Center in Palmetto. The county will also distribute sandbags on Thursday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And also from the Palmetto Police Department, sandbags will be available from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. in Palmetto. Those are available for city residents only, and you must have an ID when you show up. Each person will only be allowed 10 bags. And as Irma threatens Florida, the possibility of evacuations continue to grow by the hour. Those fleeing the storm are likely to face high gas prices that have spiked more than 30 cents in the past week following Hurricane Harvey's damage along the Texas Gulf Coast. Refineries in Texas and Louisiana are finally beginning to move gas again, but the threat of Irma will likely keep those prices high for now. Suncoast residents are preparing for those prices to rise. In case the gas stations get shut down, and they can't get gas or they're out. I just want to make sure I have gas. If you're filling up, FloridaStateGasPrices.com says the mobile station at the intersection of Bee Ridge and McIntosh Road is among the most expensive, charging about $2.79 for a gallon of regular unleaded. Also, GasBuddy.com is a great resource as well. Happening today, the Lorraine Road extension in Lakewood Ranch is set to open in Sarasota County. Suncoast drivers will have another major route going north and south besides I-75. Crews have been working for months to extend Lorraine at University Parkway south to Fruitville Road. The extension is part of the Waterside Project that's bringing over 5,000 new homes to the south side of University Parkway. And ABC7 will have continuous coverage of Hurricane Irma's development and track over the next couple of days. We also want to help make sure you and your family are prepared. That's why we'll be airing our hour-long special called Surviving Our Hur Hurricane right here on ABC7. The program offers information about supply kits, shelters, evacuation routes, and much more to get you ready for the storm. That will air tonight at 7 o'clock, Thursday at 4 p.m., and once again on Friday at 9 a.m. You can also catch the special anytime that's convenient for you on our other platforms, including Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. Definitely something you want to check out if you have not yet. Maybe even watch it for a second time because you may have missed some important information the first time we aired it a while back. Exactly. It's full of good stuff. Yeah. And as I mentioned, uh, each and every day I'm talking about things that we should do on this particular day. And I posted it on my Facebook page, John Scalzi, ABC7. But today, uh, assuming everybody knows where their, their evacuation zone is, where they would go if they were called on to evacuate, uh, people with special needs have registered with the county, and you've put together your hurricane kit and have a personal plan of action for your family, I think today, if you're a boater, you should probably tend to your boat, either that or today or tomorrow, if you can do it in a couple of hours, it could wait till <laughs> tomorrow, but, you know, get that done. Right. 
and the rest of us can take, I think, a day to breathe. Okay. And wait and see exactly what happens over the next several days with the forecast tracks. We'll update you on the current one in a minute. All right. Still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast, the latest in your first alert traffic, and some of your favorite celebrities getting together to raise money for Hurricane Harvey victims. We'll tell you when you can catch their upcoming telethon when we come back. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory, so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah. This is an important medical announcement. Talcum powder products from some of the best known brands have been linked to ovarian cancer. Any woman who has used a talcum powder product and has been diagnosed with ovarian cancer may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that women with long-term use of talcum powder, including baby powder for feminine hygiene, can increase the risk of contracting ovarian cancer. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential, there's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to women who should have been warned about the risks of ovarian cancer with long-term use of talcum powder. Call the Talcum Powder Hotline. If you or a loved one used talcum powder and were diagnosed or died from ovarian cancer, you must call now. Call 800-570-7599. 800-570-7599. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. BC7 First Alert Weather Forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. 77 degree air temperature, 2.75, east wind at 3, a mix of fair weather skies and a little bit of cloud cover caused by showers and a few thunderstorms just to the north of us. Those showers and thunderstorms move a little bit closer to the northern Gulf Coast. We have a chance of seeing some of those rain showers around here today, a little bit better than yesterday at about 30%. A trough of low pressure is sinking southward through the deep south and is uh, helping to trigger off a few more showers for us. That trough will eventually pull up stationary over the state of Florida. The question is how far that high pressure ridge will erode back into the Atlantic in response to that trough sinking south because that will in turn determine when Irma takes a northerly turn. All computer models continue to suggest that it will turn north. That's true again today. But the, most of the computer models, the, the, uh, the reliable computer models, have now shifted the track a little bit further to the east in response to a faster motion to the north by the hurricane and in response to a, uh, a deeper trough existing over the state of Florida. But for today, mostly sunny skies, a few fair weather clouds, a passing shower or two possible, uh, mostly inland showers, and then we'll watch those rains picking up on Saturday over the weekend, the winds and the rains actually. Uh, over the weekend, we'll probably have a chance of maybe four inch rainfalls by the time we get to uh, Monday morning. And the winds picking up starting on Saturday uh, could become tropical storm force by the time we hit uh, Sunday. So here's Irma. Irma continues on a track that carries it very close to Puerto Rico, 
Hispaniola, Cuba, but the computer models have kind of shifted the focus just a little bit more to the east today. And in response to that, and out of respect for that, the Hurricane Center has also shifted its track a little bit to the east. They don't make big changes in their tracks, but from from track to track, but they've made it a, a shift, a little bit of a shift to the east. Important thing to note is there's still a pretty good spread after you get past about day three or four. So, you know, we still need to be cautious. We are still definitely in the forecast cone of error, the entire state of Florida. 185 mile an hour winds bearing down now on St. Martin's, heading toward Puerto Rico, hopefully just to the north of Puerto Rico. The European model has been excellent in predicting the path of this storm, by the way, over the course of the last couple of days. Uh, 85, 185 mile per hour winds makes this just a tremendously devastating storm. As it lifts to the north, it begins to make a more northerly turn as we head into Sunday, early Sunday morning. And the current track basically takes it up the spine of the state with a forecast error that includes everything from the Bahamas all the way out into the central Gulf. Certainly we are included in this and we will be close enough if it took that center track. We would certainly be close enough to get some stronger winds around here. Um, hopefully that forecast track will keep shifting east. The strongest part of the storm obviously on the right hand side and uh, we'd like to see that out to sea as opposed to overland. So, we kind of take this day by day because of the angle of approach of this storm. Forecasting this far out is very difficult. So we'll be watching and seeing exactly when it starts lifting north and where the position of that storm is near Cuba as we head into the next couple of days. Uh, we are watching about a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain over the next few days. And then winds picking up on Saturday. So will the rain chances. And as we head into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, of course, that weather highly dependent on the eventual track of Irma. Back to you. All right, thank you, John. We will continue to track that throughout the day. Taking a look at your first alert, traffic 301 and State Road 70, seeing your normal slowdowns, as well as downtown Bradenton, I-75 looking good. There was an accident over off of the I-75 ramp near the Fruitville exit, so there was some traffic backup over there that has continued to clear up. Other than that, the Bayfront seeing some slowdowns, and South County looking like your normal morning commute at 647 on your two Wednesday. <laughs> In this hour's Health Smart, will using your cell phone while pregnant hurt your baby? ABC's Janae Norman explains how new research might help a dial back that concern. If you're expecting, you know what it's like to get advice and to be bombarded with do's and don'ts of taking care of your unborn baby. So when the suggestion arose that cell phone radiation might harm the development of babies in the womb, many moms-to-be heard about it and they may have worried. But is there really a connection? That's what researchers in Norway wanted to find out. Looking at more than 45,000 mother-child pairs, asking mothers if and how often they use their cell phones during their pregnancies, they then assessed the children at ages 3 and 5 to determine their language, communication, and motor skills. What they found? No evidence of harmful effects from their mom's cell phone use while pregnant. Rumors, of course, die hard, which means that this study may not completely shut down these fears. But this research means moms can rest assured that even if they use those cell phones, their little ones won't be worse for it. With this Medical Minute, I'm Janae Norman, ABC News. In entertainment news now, we're learning that six family members who drowned in a van last week in the Hurricane Harvey floodwaters were related to late singer Selena. Her father posting on social media that the victims were his cousins. Selena was shot to death by the president of her fan club back in 1995. In her father's post, he says the family had left their flooded house and were looking for a safe place. They were trying to cross a bridge when a wave of water swept their van into the bayou. Four young children and two adults were killed. The van's driver survived by clinging to a tree branch for several hours until help arrived. And some of your favorite celebrities are getting together to raise money for victims of Hurricane Harvey. Beyonce, Blake Shelton, Barbara Streisand and Oprah are just some of the many famous faces you'll see headlining the Hand in Hand Benefit Telethon. It'll benefit organizations like the United Way of Greater Houston, Habitat for Humanity and Save the Children. Other celebrities like George Clooney, Jamie Foxx, and Julia Roberts will also make an appearance with taped or live messages. That concert will air right here on ABC7 next Tuesday at 8 p.m. 
Still ahead, we'll update your top headlines and an incredible student beating the odds and attending school. We'll tell you why this little guy's first day of kindergarten means so much to his community when we come back. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. It's Lincoln Summer Sales Event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sport Utility for $269 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. Serving Florida Sun Coast since 1978. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to Mesobook.com. You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills, wow, stop stains, and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors, guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable, too. My grandkids destroy everything but with coach coat my coach is always protected looking as good as it did the day I bought it get your couch coat for just $19.99 and it's reversible in brown and cream like two couch coats for the price of one order right now and you can double your offer get a second couch coat just pay a separate fee order right now call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat call now or go to couchcoat.com so call 1-800-943-0710 that's 1-800-943-0710 call now Start your day with Ray, Jacqueline, and John, the new Good Morning Suncoast team. Weekdays starting at 5 a.m. on ABC7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. We have a live look this morning from the Manatee EOC building. County commissioners will be holding a meeting there this morning in a little over an hour at 8 a.m. to declare a local state of emergency for Manatee County. So we will keep you updated on that as that develops here on the Sun Coast on ABC 7 654. Let's take a look at some of the top stories here on the Sun Coast today. Irma on the mind of all Floridians, including right here on the Sun Coast. Some area residents are already leaving the area voluntarily ahead of any evacuations. Plus, there are new concerns about the possibility of flooding in Northport should Hurricane Irma head our way. The city says if the area receives more rain, the river could flood, making roadways impossible to navigate in some areas. And the NFL says the Miami Dolphins season opener against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will not be played in Miami this weekend due to Hurricane Irma. If the game is not relocated, it will be postponed until November when the teams share the same bye week. Taking a look at Suncoast traffic this morning, increasing throughout Manatee County as it normally does on your morning commute. I-75 looking good. 
As we're heading south into Sarasota County, some slowdowns over towards the Bayfront. That's been going on all morning as well as heading south into South County. Just your normal slowdowns throughout that region 654. Let's check in with John. So a pretty nice day today. We look for a uh, mix of sun and clouds and uh, a little bit of better chance of rain showers over the next several days. But it's over the weekend when the winds will start to pick up on Saturday. And then uh, on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, of course, everything is highly dependent on the track of uh, Irma. The forecast track from the Hurricane Center has shifted a little bit further to the east today, but we are still in that forecast cone of error five days out. All right, thank you, John. Finally this morning, the first day of kindergarten can be a scary time full of nerves, but for the Lipton Lesser family, it's a time to celebrate. Little Dylan Lipton Lesser has had a long journey to his first day of school. He has a condition called hydrocephalus or water on the brain and has been through over 20 surgeries. Dylan's mom says the teachers and staff at his school have been outstanding so far, already helping Dylan feel comfortable in his new environment. Way to go, Dylan. Best of luck to him in his first year of school. Ah, great story. Great story. Great but story. busy day for you guys over there in the Weather yeah, Center. For everybody, I think, although I think today might be a good day to take care of yourself, get of some rest, make sure that uh, all of your plans are in place in case you are called on to action. Um, and for boaters, if it doesn't take you more than a couple of hours, uh, go ahead and take care of your boat. You, you can do it tomorrow if it takes, you know, just a short amount of time, but try to get her done today. All right. Thanks, John. Stick around. Good morning, America's coming up next.